Connecticut, Columbine, Colorado, Virginia Tech. These are the haunting images of deadly school shootings, but now educators across the country and in the mid-state are trying to change that picture. Bring your eyes now, come on over, bring your eyes. A morning meeting is not the typical start to a kindergarten class. What are some of our feeling words that we have? Excited. Excited. Happy. Happy. This part of the day is focused on a new concept. And you can share something fun you did yesterday. It's called social and emotional learning, or SEL. The approach focuses on helping students manage their emotions, conflict, and build relationships. They all take part in the greeting part. We all share. They all participate in the morning message as well as the activities. So it involves every student. Good morning, Angel. Good morning, Zoe. One of the components of the morning meeting is greeting. So they greet each other each morning. They say good morning with a smile, good eye contact. It just makes it very a welcoming place for them. T H. The social interaction takes place only about 10 minutes, but Ms. Davis says it's an investment that pays off. It engages all students, and also all of the students are involved, so no students are left out. Being left out is a common trend in mass school shootings. According to some family members, Newtown shooter Adam Lanza was beaten and taunted as a student at Sandy Hook Elementary. SEL supporters say there needs to be a shift in the classroom. I think you're going to find that educators today will agree that there's actually too much attention on tests and too much attention on academics. There's too much pressure there for performance when we need to be focused on the person. Craig Scott survived the 1999 Columbine school shooting that killed his sister. He believes SEL programs can lessen depression, anxiety, and aggressive behavior. With a focus on inclusion, students who seem troubled or isolated are less likely to go unnoticed. I've seen it, in fact, in some of my schools in my district, and it's a very um, good way to reach out to all the students, whether they're the ones that are always have their hands up in the air or the ones that never do. Good morning! At the end of that sentence, what did you see? Exclamation mark. Metro is one of a handful of school districts implementing SEL programs, and so far, teachers like the results. It provides a wonderful academic setting. The students help one another because they know each other, they greet each other. We have that wonderful community. They're engaged. It just, it just makes the academic space just a great space for learning. Erica Lathan, Fox 17 News.